Ripple is currently in a similar situation to Monero a few weeks ago. In this case, a slight decline pressing on the mid to low 40s can be marked with a Fibonacci channel, then a Fibonacci time zone here, and a Fibonacci spiral over here. So if the chart can hold at or above 45, another attempt at advancing through the low 50s can become more plausible heading towards July and the 5 to 8 interval of the Fibonacci time zone. Though even if a strong uptrend can be produced similar to the Monero chart, there is no major change in the longer-term bearish sentiment of the market unless Ripple can at least close back into the 60s. Alternatively, if Ripple can't establish into the 50s and break over the channel towards the end of June, it is possible to see a path down roughly along the spiral towards the lower half of the channel. Breaking into that section can accelerate a drop like this towards the low 40s or even lower. In contrast, Bitcoin recently returned back up to previous record high territory, just below the mid-75,000 range, where a possible double top range is developing around these still relevant Fibonacci extension levels. Next, a Fibonacci fan can be placed on the shallow decline of the last few peaks, followed by two combined regular Fibonacci time zones, and a Fib spiral here. So, if price can keep closing at or above the mid-68,000 range to avoid a double top drop, another upswing towards the mid-75,000 range becomes more realistic. On the other hand, if price keeps in the low 68,000 range over the next few days, a double top reversal regains a bearish advantage, which then makes a quick drop down to the steepest fan line a possibility. In such a case, attention will be focused around the low 60,000 range, just like before. For more coverage of crypto, stay tuned. And while you wait for the next upload tomorrow, check out the hundreds of technical analysis tutorials already on the channel, including instructional series on how to use every Fibonacci tool.